Hey everyone, today I'm doing a simple tutorial for school hair, which um, this is one of the ways I wear my hair to school. Um, it was really, really quick and simple. Like all it is is a braid and a little plait and like um, a fringe. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to figure out how I did this, keep watching. Okay, so as you can see, I've just quickly pinned my fringe back because it annoys the crap out of me when it's in my eyes. So the first thing I'm doing to my hair is I'm just going to tease just back comb just with a normal brush because yeah you can use like a rat tail comb or whatever but it works the same with this brush as well because you don't want those tight teased and things you want it loose teased if that makes sense. Okay so the first thing I'm just going to tease the top area just like okay that's the top and I'm just going to tease underneath it so the top's nice and flat but it just has a lot more volume. Just like so. Okay. Now I'm going to start by doing the braid. And I'm just going to start in this area here. I'm just going to grab that. And I just want to leave these like little side bits out. Okay, so I'm just going to grab that. Um, and start my braid like a normal plait with three pieces and plait it once and again and then I'm going to add hair from this part here like slowly just like add more hair so far and I'm just going to keep doing this so this part of my hair should end up on this side so just keep adding also brush I'm gonna, I really tease the top part of my hair because um, you want the bottom bit to be quite manageable because you're constantly pulling it over this side and plaiting it in and you don't want it to be like a ratty little ratty thing <laughs> so um, I'm just going to keep plaiting once no of my longer hair can fit in so I hope you can see I've tried to get better lighting today And I'm just going to secure it with an elastic at the bottom. I'm not going too far because you can, but if you go too far, it goes really thin. And mm, I don't want it to look too thin. I want it to look kind of loose and messy. Okay, so once that's secure. Okay, so now that this part here is done, I'm going to move on to this bit. And as you can see, these shorter layers didn't quite reach around, so I'm just gonna like, okay, I'm just missing out my annoying fringe. Cause yeah, it's driving me insane. So I'm just gonna like, just skip my fringe and get the hair behind it like so. And I'm just going to do kind of a plait on this side and add any other bits from the back that won't reach as well. But just like really loosely and it doesn't have to be the same like I just finished there and I'm not even going to secure it with elastic I'm just going to push it back to the back like so and then I'm just going to kind of downwards I'm just going to pin it at the back of my hair right here like so Okay, and for my fringe, because it's annoying, I'm just going to grab it. And when you do this, make sure your fringe is like kind of going the opposite way to your plait. Like as you can see, I part of my hair here to go on this way for the plait, and then part my fringe on this side to go this way. So it kind of bounces it up a bit, maybe. So I'm just going to pin it back like that. 
And then I'm just going to pull these little bands out the side. And I'm going to take a bit of hair from the top and pull it down. So it doesn't look too straight. It kind of looks more scruffy. And then at the back, if you turn around, it's kind of like not as messy and like not as kind of not, not the way I want it. So I'm just going to grab around a bit. It's like pushing them up. And it looks kind of like if you do that, it looks kind of like your hair's wavy because I'm not sure if that works because they can't see at the moment. But like you push it up and pull it and then you like push it in a different direction kind of thing. If that makes any sense at all. So I'm just going in a blue pin. And then I'm just going to push this bit here. Just do that. Just think of your volume kind of thing. But yeah. And that's one of the many ways I do my hair for school. So I hope you like that and I hope that was useful. This bit here is just annoying me so I'm just going to make, because it's like poofy on the side and flat on the side, I'm just going to make sure this side's a little more poofy on the side. But yeah, just like adjust your hair so you, it's how you want it. And with this hair style, you don't have to wear it like to school. You can like wear it going shopping, which I am. But like, you can get away with it at school because it's out of your face, it's neat and tidy, so yeah, and you can always add simple accessories to like dress it up maybe, like, you've seen these clips before in my other video, but you can like clip them, like just little flower clips in your hair, like, just to help really dress it up, and I got this new one, which I kind of like, it's got feathers on it, so you can just like dress your hair up with them. So, yeah. Also, if you don't like your fringe like this, you could always like fix it. Like, you can kind of put it off your face and around like that. Oh, that actually say. <laughs> or you could like simply plait your fringe and like just like pin it back like that so it goes around or you could just I don't know maybe even do a quiff on top oh that looks okay <laughs> but yeah yeah this is the final look so um yeah rate comment subscribe and request and Hopefully soon I'll be putting more videos up of how I do my hair at school like but different ways. So yeah.